Hello, today I'm going to cover the topic of uh, adding responsive AdSense code to your website and you will need that especially if your design is a responsive one. As you can see this is my site 103graphics.com This is a normal square ad 300 by 250 It looks pretty normal when you view it on your desktop. However, if you switch to an iPad or a smaller screen A problem appears here as you can see the ad size is not fitting in the small sidebar that is resulting from resizing the browser or using an iPad okay so I'm going to use now the, the new feature presented by Google AdSense I'm going to create a new ad let's call it responsive sidebar ad okay and then in the ad size I'm not going to choose any fixed one but rather scroll down you will see responsive ad unit beta okay I'll choose the text and display ad normally show blank space and I'm going to target a certain one of my uh, channels okay and then I will click save and get code okay it says here mode smart sizing I'll just copy that and I will go into the widgets of my website and replace the old size which had a 250 by 250 square with the new size click save and let's go back to my site and refresh that okay here it's it's displaying a, a large uh, skyscraper that's 300 by 360 by 600 sorry Okay, the, the actual ad might take some time to, to appear. Okay, so after waiting for a few minutes, the ad is now uh, appearing on my sidebar. It's chosen a larger one. Okay, now let's try resizing the browser to the iPad size. I will need to refresh the page here, but if, if you're viewing on an iPad, it will fit the size directly. Here is the, the page after refresh. And as you see, the ad now sticks to the place available. It doesn't go outside of the design as it used to, to do before. Here it is, appearing nicely in the sidebar, fitting the space. And I will even go for the 320 pixel widths of the, that of the iPhone. and I need to refresh the page again here in the responsive uh, design of this site when you drop to that size the sidebar goes beneath the, the content so we'll have to scroll down to see how it looks now now it's just one column of the content beneath that should be the sidebar and we should be able to see the ad in it as you can see here again uh, a small square fitting exactly in the space and optimizing the revenue that you can get from your AdSense account hope you find this useful and thank you